Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm in a totally new location. I'm actually in a hotel room because me and my boyfriend are driving to Orlando, Florida. We are going to Disney World and it will basically be his first time going there since he was like a little, little kid. So he doesn't remember it a whole bunch. So I think it'll definitely be a super fun trip. But I thought, why not take you guys with me and kind of have a little bit of an experiment, which is how many books do I read on vacation so just to catch you up a little bit we drove like 10 11 hours yesterday and we have about three to four hours left in the drive and within those first 10 hours i have finished two books I don't know what it is about reading on road trips, but it just hits differently. I feel like I can just lock in and binge read all day. But the first book I finished was The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. This is about Cassie and Aiden. Cassie recently lost her job and she ends up picking up this nannying gig. However, the father of the child that she's nannying for turns out that he used to watch her OnlyFans when she had one. She has since deleted the account. It's been deleted for over a year. However, he wasn't just an average viewer. He was one of the top contributors to her OnlyFans account. So it's safe to say that that kind of stirs up a little bit of tension and drama. So this book is Forced Proximity, it's Single Dad, it's the nanny trope, um, and it's super, super spicy. So if you want a quick spicy read, this one right here, okay? So I ended up reading this a 3.25. I absolutely loved the buildup of them getting together. However, once they got together, it didn't feel like their connection deepened. It just really felt on the surface, very physical. And I just wish that we got more time of them being with each other one-on-one -on -one without it being related to something sexual, if that makes sense. Other than that, really loved it. The little girl that she nannies for is really cute. I really liked that the characters were able to work through things pretty quickly. There is a third act breakup, obviously. I feel like that's just a given with romance books, but it literally lasted like two seconds, so. The second book I read was The Housemaid Secret. This was on my Kindle. It's by Frieda McFadden, and it's actually the second book in the Housemaid trilogy. So this book takes place a few years after the first one. Millie is now living in New York. She's studying to be a social worker, and she recently lost her housekeeping job for this very obnoxious rich lady. So she ends up taking a new gig for the Garrick's household. It's pretty obvious right off the bat that things are not normal. So obviously Millie has to investigate and that just opens a whole bunch of can of worms. So I ended up rating this a four out of five. I really did enjoy this. However, it's really, really slow. It honestly felt like nothing really was happening up until like the 50 to 60% mark. And I'm not kidding you. Getting to that mark was really hard for me. I don't know if it's because I was kind of in a reading slump or if it was just boring, but the beginning felt very repetitive. However, once you get out of the woods and you're into the actual story, things just start happening like right after the other that I honestly felt like I was going to get whiplash with all the twists and turns that Frieda McFadden was taking and I absolutely loved it. However, it's safe to say that the first book has not been topped for me. I don't think anything will ever top the first one. It's just so good. But yeah, four out of five, really enjoyed it. Absolutely love Frieda McFadden. If you're wanting to get into the thriller genre, highly recommend her. So those are the two books I've read thus far. I don't know what I'm gonna read next, probably something off of my Kindle. I started Keeping 13 super late last night, but I just don't think I'm in the mood for it. It's a really heavy book and it's also really long. And I think I just want something fun and quick. It is update time. We just got to Orlando and we're at our resort and I am accompanied here by my boyfriend Nolan. We're about to go to the pool and read, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about our current reads. Mm. So I'm currently reading The Veiled Kingdom by 
I don't remember who it's by, <laughs> but I'll have a picture up on the screen of what the title looks like. But it's basically a fantasy romance. It's super quick. It's under 400 pages, which I feel like isn't really heard of in fantasy. I feel like fantasy books are really, really long nowadays. But it's a fantasy romance. It's enemies to lovers. It's forced proximity. It honestly reminds me a lot of Powerless by Lauren Roberts. It has a very similar vibe and the world building is very similar, I would say. I'm about 60 to 70 percent through I think and I'm really really enjoying it. I think I'm definitely finishing it today because like I said we're gonna go read by the pool so what are you reading? Um, I'm reading Six of Crows <laughs> by Leia Bardugo. Do you like it? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really good so far. Nolan is not a reader, and we're actually buddy reading Six of Crows, but I have to take a break from it because I read too far ahead, <laughs> and he has to catch up. Yeah, this is the first book I've read since, uh, I don't know, sometime in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So that's what we're reading by the pool. We're gonna go relax, veg out, just chill. See you guys Get later. A Get a couple of drinks because we're over 21. It is the next day. I literally look so oily because I just put sunscreen on, but do not mind me. It is our first day at Disney World. We are going to Hollywood Studios today. I don't know how much I'm going to read, but I do plan on bringing my Kindle with me just because maybe I'll be able to read in between lines. Like, However, I did finish The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee yesterday. I think I would rate this like a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. I binge read it in one day. I think it's perfect if you love fantasy romance and if you love Powerless. It really reminded me of Powerless by Lauren Roberts but with smut. So if that sounds like it's up your alley then go read it. It's free on Kindle Limited. Like what is stopping you? But yeah. Don't know how much I'm going to vlog, but I will see you guys later. We are back from the most magical place on earth, Disney World, <laughs> obviously. Duh. We had a fun time, but we're not here to talk about Disney. This is not a Disney vlog. This is a reading vlog. This is what I read on vacation vlog, okay? Don't get it twisted. While in line during numerous rides, I decided to bring out my good old trust. Twist. Twist. Twisty. <laughs> twisty. Twisty Kindle. My good old. <laughs> My good old trusty Kindle. The good old trusty Kindle. And I read while waiting in line. Um, I don't know if people found this odd or anything, but I was the only one who had a Kindle in line, I think, that I noticed. I started reading Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This is the second book in the like interconnected standalone series with Part of Your World because it takes place at the hospital that Alexis works at. I like it so far. I'm only 12% through, but I am really enjoying it. The main premise is that they're both doctors at the same hospital. However, they're both kind of up for the same kind of promotion, I guess. However, they don't really get along. They kind of meet each other on the wrong foot and it's just a bad impression. However, the main guy isn't really that grumpy, even though he appears to be. He appears to be very standoffish, kind of a jerk. But in reality, he actually just has like severe anxiety, which I really like some of the things that his inner monologue talks about. I'm like, yeah, I do that. I check the restaurant 10 times before I go into it. <laughs> and I know exactly what I'm going to order, even though I will pretend like I'm scouring the menu for like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Like, stuff like that, like, I think is really fun. Um, yeah, really like both of the main characters. I really like the premise of the story. 
I'm already a fan of Abby Jimenez. I kind of knew going into the book that I was going to enjoy it, but I'm excited to read more of it. So it is the next day. I ended up reading a little bit of yours truly last night before bed. And let me tell you right now, I absolutely love Jacob. I think he has a very strong, strong chance of becoming one of my favorite main male characters. Like, he is just so cutie, okay? I also just love the fact that he has a Bernice mountain dog and it has only three legs. And his name is Lieutenant Dan. Like, if that isn't swoon-worthy, I don't know what is. I'm about 20% through. I'm at the part where they're both, like, writing letters to one another. And if you like that trope, I think you'll really like this book as well. I eat it up every time. Every time there's, like, text messages, emails, letters, it just hits. It just adds something to the book. I don't know what, but it's just so good. I feel like it makes the main characters feel more real, if that makes sense. I don't know. We are going to Magic Kingdom today. I think I'm going to bring my Kindle again, just because I think it does help kind of make the long wait times seem faster. I don't know. Plus, I'm not draining my phone battery by being on my Kindle in line. So if you need a life hack, and you're a book girly, bring your Kindle when you go to amusement parks, okay? recap magic kingdom was such a success we did the lightning lanes for the first time and that was just a huge game changer i don't think we waited more than 45 minutes for a single ride because i was just girl bossing the genie plus <laughs> we even got to ride the new tron ride twice if you know, you know, like that is just not a small feat. And I also timed our lightning lane for the Seven Dwarves minecart ride to be during the fireworks show. So we were outside doing the ride and fireworks were going off. It was like the Disney commercial brought to life. But because I wasn't waiting around in lines as much, I didn't read as much as I did yesterday. I did read a little bit. We had breaks in between rides. Nolan and I would just like find somewhere to sit down, eat, chill, relax. And I would pull out my Kindle every now and then. It just didn't happen as much as yesterday. So I'm really only like 22% through. Still really enjoying it. I don't know if I'm going to read any more tonight because it is pretty late. And... We have to wake up pretty early tomorrow to go to Animal Kingdom. But just know, I'm really enjoying yours truly. I really love the characters. It honestly could be a five star. I'm not lying. I feel like if I wasn't so jam-packed with Disney things, I would just be binge reading this book.